Dear Director General of UNESCO, Ms. Odhaya Azule, my name is Gauri Shankar. I am an Indian Independent Applied Psychology Researcher. This is to inform you about the problems with the global academia and the field of psychology and their negative impact on science, societies and cultures and to make proposals to lay the foundation to develop and execute solutions within the next 150 days. The problems are globally we have educational discipline and degree inflation, research and scientist inflation, article inflation and science trust deflation along with parasitism and hegemony in academia and education is being used as a tool for neo deep colonialization, deculturalization, racial supremacy and subjugation. We have the academic pandemic. The eugenic pseudoscientific psychology's vigor has increased drastically. In few decades, it will lead to unprecedented rate of suicide and murder. The solutions would be providing open access to science, accelerated democratization of education, reformation of academia, controlled deflation of the academic bubble, and deep refining of the field of psychology and its practices. The first step is to create a global, healthy, transparent, self-sustainable scholarly community by revolutionizing the process of science. From research registration to review to publication to access to science, this will automatically pave the way for the deflation of the academic bubble. The second step is to create nation-specific, international-specific and universal psycho socio politico economic buffers to soften and smoothen the deflation and transition of the academia. Simultaneously, the field of psychology and its practices have to be refined to the core by conducting conferences, researchers and producing evidence-based body of knowledge. Humanity is a few thousand steps away from achieving the sustainable, optimal environment of biopsychosocio political condition and only few hundred steps away from nearly annihilating ourselves and trillions of other life forms and irrecoverably damaging our mother earth. Neither the west nor the east can achieve these optimal conditions but only us humanity can. Academia is the key civic body that can ensure sustained peace. Futures of education should be mutually beneficial for all stakeholders. Science should be trustworthy and open, and all cultures should be respected and preserved. Till date, there is no consensus on the term education. If we ask the so-called top 100 universities to define education, we would get plethora of dysfunctional definitions, anywhere from 10 to few hundreds. The contemporary global education system is designed by the West Almost all academic disciplines are dominated by the West and all major science publishing companies are owned by the West. Almost all countries follow the Western education system. Non-Western countries are clueless. Clueless about the deculturalization, deep colonialization and white supremacy spreading process of the Western, of the West in the name of educational leadership. The Western education leadership is a pandemic. Immorality, pseudoscience and politics, the most deadly alliance humanity could ever witness. The deadly alliance was witnessed globally in the 20th century in the name of eugenics. Hundreds of thousands of people were sterilized forcefully, millions were murdered in total. Eugenics is an immoral pseudoscience that attributes everything to genes, inheritance. In the field of genes, we have RefSec and Ensemble Gen Code, and we have hundreds and thousands of disagreements and inconsistencies between them respectively. And we have consensus problem on the definition of gene itself. Yet, the immoral eugenists are attributing everything to genes. Eugenics is still here, hale and hearty. Eugenic doctrine also manifests in the field of mental health discipline in concepts such as intelligence and feeble-mindedness. If we ask a thousand so-called mental health experts to define mind, health and expertise, 
we will get at least 100 half-baked definitions for each of the term with zero consensus. In fact, the subject matter of psychology itself is unclear. Its core concepts are poorly defined. Its very theoretical foundations are flimsy. And the entire field is dominated by the West. One of the most difficult, debated and worrisome issue in the field of mental health is how to determine, define mental disorder. A variety of definition of mental disorder have been proposed and there is no consensus. Yet, we see that mental disorders are one of the primary cause of disability worldwide and they have been identified as a noteworthy public health concern. And yet, we have inflation in mental disorder diagnosis. Diagnosis of mental disorder in children have significantly increased. The actual prevalence of mental illness among children is probably significantly higher because mental illness is known to be underdiagnosed, says mental health experts. Given the rise of popularity and trends of psychology, despite almost of its uh, pseudoscientific, I find this eugenic psychology coupled with other pseudoscience, data science, along with the application of big data, statistics and artificial intelligence will be the cause of the global mass suicide and murders in the next few decades. People are defenseless, for they are clueless and accessless to scientific trends and science. The librarian at the British Medical Association used to joke about publishing as theft. It is highly profitable but unethical business. The education and the publishing industry partnered together and made the scholars to run a never-ending rat race. Scholars are forced to publish. They have to publish or perish. The number of papers produced each year has dramatically grown over time in several academic disciplines and suddenly nonsense became the excellence. Publishers have become parasite. This incentivized production of nonsense will wipe out humanity very soon. The core concept of science publishing itself is senseless, corrupt and rotten. Peer review is a flawed process at the heart of science and journals. It is faith and not evidence based. It is subjective. It hasn't done much to point out instances of sloppy science. Providing outright boorish comments and urging authors to cite their own works irrelevantly are so pervasive. Moreover, ideas get stolen. Times are changing, bias isn't. Geographic, racial, institutional and gender biases are there. Hindrance of non-white researchers, academic career is suggested by empirical evidence. Major psychological associations have either fired people or issued apology for misconduct or racism. Till date, there is no consensus on the term education. Till date, there is no consensus on the term science. And till date, there is no consensus on the term culture. There are great many useless academic disciplines and very little science production. We have degree inflation. What on earth are we studying? What on earth are being studied and taught together? made people to distrust science. This incentivized production of nonsense will wipe out humanity very soon. The solutions would be providing open access to science, accelerated democratization of education, reformation of academia, controlled deflation of the academic bubble and deep refining of the field of psychology and its practices. Academia is the key civic body that can ensure sustained peace and I can devise the best policies for its revolutionization and globalization and publish them in the next 150 days. Sincere thanks for your precious time.